7 o'clock tonight, we'll be out of the country and you'll never see us again. Weaver Beats recently commented that plugins are dead. The crux of the story was that there are no new, interesting, and different VSTs being developed. I don't fully agree with that statement, but he does have a point. I mean, at the end of the day, how many different DX7, Juno 6, and Oberheim clones do you really need? But manufacturers keep pumping them out. If you dig deeper, however, you might find that there are a few low-key developers doing some interesting things with sound design. Just this year alone, I've done videos on Factor Synth, Droplets, and Harmony Bloom. These are all produced by very small companies, usually just a single person struggling against the sea of giant companies like Spitfire and Native Instruments. I like showcasing these developers and purchasing a few plugins so that they can keep the lights on. One developer that you might not have heard of is Micah Frank at Pure Magnetic. If you go to the website, you might be surprised to find not just one or two VSTs that you can buy, but multiple pages of individual instruments and effects. Things like an FM drone animator and Solveg, which is an emulation of the Roland SH-101, to Quanzatron, which is a Cybertronic Itero buffer. Just the names and descriptions of each effect really make you want to dig deeper to see exactly what each one of these things does. In essence, pure magnetic plugins resemble boutique guitar pedals, all with very different effects, and they bring to mind such names as Earthquaker Devices, Chase Bliss, and Hologram. There are even bundles of different effects, including an ultimate bundle of 39 plugins. After probably an hour rummaging through the website, I ended up purchasing a couple of effects, and we're going to go through three of them. First off is Woolrin, which is fairly unique. It's called a phase modulation matrix, which sounds cool and complex. It is, and it is. Essentially, you set up different all-pass filters, each with its own LFO. If you don't know what an all-pass filter is, Universal Audio has a great explanation on their website. In short, these filters don't change the frequency response like a typical filter. Instead, they change the phase, or rather, when different parts of the frequency response are produced. Extremely high-order all-pass filters can create misalignment in different frequency bands over time. As you can imagine, this can create some interesting effects, and Woolrin even has an 8-step tempo synced sequencer that takes this to another level. Here are a few different effects that you can get with this plugin. Next up is Mimic OD, which is a variable time and pitch processor. Mimic records audio into a buffer that can be tweaked, bent, and turned into stutters. This effect has been made popular by Chase Bliss with several of their pedals, utilizing a similar buffering type algorithm. As you can imagine, this effect can get pretty crazy, but can also be a lot of fun, and it works very different with short sounds versus longer processed pads or arpeggiators. Here are several examples.
probably my favorite plugin that I've bought so far is eTap. eTapi? eTepe. eTap is different in that it works off something called the golden ratio. I won't go too deeply into this, but the golden ratio is used in a number of fields, including art, architecture, engineering, and of course, music. If you connect each corner of the squares with an arc, you get a golden spiral. I didn't know anything about golden ratio. I'm just reading, trying to learn, like, okay. <laughs> In school, I learned it as, okay, a piece of music has a golden section, which is that, that point, that climactic. It doesn't always have to be dramatic, but just something special always happens. If you've seen any of us nerds wearing a t-shirt like this, then you have seen the golden ratio. And you can see the results in nature as well. I've not come across any other delay VST that lets you set up multiple delay taps as easily as eTap does. And the results can be impressive. eTap goes one step further with sound design and lets you not only adjust the panning of each tap, but also the filtering and even lets you reverse specific taps. This can lead to all kinds of interesting sound variants and is a lot of fun to mess around with. What is great about all of these effects is being able to combine them to get some really awesome sound design potential. Kind of like putting a bunch of guitar pedals together in series. I like that Pure Magnetics plugins all have a pretty clean and easy to use interface, and you can definitely see the guitar pedal influence. They also have a very clean sound to them, as you can hear in the examples. This is the result of using C Sound, which is reported to have top tier sound quality as far as musical programming tools are concerned. Finally, they are pretty inexpensive with most of these being 25 bucks a pop. There are bundle sales, which you have to watch or be subscribed via email. There are a couple of things that I think would help these plugins become more popular, which I would like to see. Thus, I'm gonna give my opinion on things that I would like to see improved in future potential updates. First is to add a save preset feature. This is possibly the biggest thing missing. It's probably not really needed on some offerings since they only have five or six controls, but on something like eTap, it is really missed. There are 14 sliders, each with its own panning, reverse, and filter controls. So recreating a favorite patch to use again is a bit painful. Being able to favorite a preset would also be great, as I can see myself creating another couple of dozen presets for this particular plugin. That's it for today. Let me know what you think of Pure Magnetics plugins and check out their link in the description below. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe. Keep making great music. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the other side of the mountain.
Ah, ya me va, ya me va.